Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Bending It with Beckham. For anyone new to the channel, we are managing Inter Miami CF in the Major League Soccer, where of course David Beckham is a director. So, where are we with the save so far? Well, you haven't missed anything. So, in this episode I decided to focus on Atlanta because they're a good team that's not doing very well, and DC United. So you haven't missed anything. The only thing you have missed is that our striker, basically our only striker, Juan Agudelo, is injured. He picked up a three-month injury. I think it was like abdominal injury, a torn abdominal muscle. So he's out for seven weeks to three months, which means we've had to place him on disabled list, so he can't play for the next six games. So he can't play for six games, which means we're going to bring in Carranza. And we're going to pop... Robbie Robinson on the bench. Unfortunately, Will Trapp is also on international duty. So why... That is ridiculous, isn't it? MLS takes place when players are on international duty. So we're going to have to play File Harbour that side, maybe? No. Guido's more comfortable that side, so we'll play him. And then McKean's going to come onto the bench. Power is back from injury. So we're going to pop him on the bench. Okay, I think we're good to go. So we are up against Atlanta, who are bottom of the Eastern Conference at the moment, which is a huge surprise. And you can see they've got this guy who was top scorer in the league last year. So today we've got Robles in goal, we've got Delegaza and Sweat remaining left back and right back, Figal and Reyes centre back, Guido, Ujoa, File Harbour in midfield, with Pizarro and Bojan in behind Cadanza, who Hasn't scored for us yet. He made like two appearances. This is his first start for the club. So we've got attack. Carranza, Sweat, Ujoa. And they've, no, they've not laid it. Ujoa's kept it. Tegido, Carranza. That's well saved. Now they've got a free kick and they scored. Miles Robinson has scored. Surprise, unsurprisingly, Gonzalo Martinez with the assist. And they're looking to play it out from the back. They've got Guzan in goal. And they're looking alright, they're knocking the ball around well. We need to keep an eye on Martinez. This guy's rugging as ragged at the moment. We have been very poor in our first half. We've done absolutely nothing. I don't really see the point of being cautious. This is not. Come on. All right. Sweat's on the ball. What can he do with it? Not much. Give it away. That's what he can do with it. Reyes clears up. All the way back to the keeper. That's a terrible pass at field. We are not playing well today. So, uh, I feel I'm going to lose the ball again. Uh, oh, two indirect free kicks. I don't see us getting back into this. We've not been very good. Guido's nicked the ball. Carranza's in again. It's good. That's Carranza's first goal for the club. Julian Cadanza. Nice little ball through from Guido. Carranza gets in behind and slots it. Nicely. There's something out of the game. Fire Harbour is knackered. So we're going to bring this guy in. Pizarro and Bojan have just been poor. And they've got a three now. Okay, Pellegrini, do something, mate. Oh, he scored! Matthias Pellegrini gets in. Also, his first goal for the club. A great solo run. And then finishes with a very tight angle, actually. Do we stay on positive? I think it's going to finish 2 2. We actually moved up to third. That is a great comeback. Carranza and Pellegrini. But. That means we still only have one defeat this season. And we are two points off the top. It's not bad, is it? Not a bad start at all. Three wins, three draws. 
and it leaves Atlanta still bottom of the league. So Guido is now joint top for player of the match with three. And the second highest average rating in the league behind Carlos Vela. For a guy we picked up in the shitty draft. Not bad, right? Okay, we'll be back next with the home game against DC United. And we're back for the DC United game. Now, I thought DC United because I used to like them years ago when they had Jaime Moreno. And obviously they had Wayne Rooney until fairly recently. But... They are doing okay in the league. They're eight. They were up in the playoffs before the last round of games. So they should be a decent side. We have just brought in Liam Miller to basically cover for Agudelo being out. He looks alright, actually. Not a bad little cover player. And it's finally game time. It takes ages to get through these games sometimes and game days. But we are back. You'll probably hear that everyone on my street has decided that today is the ideal day to do their lawn cutting, which is quite frustrating. Hopefully they'll stop. Um, the good news is that we have Powell, kind of that. So we're going to bring him in. And then, other than that, I think we're good to go. No, no, Will Trap is also back. So I think we're going to go with this today. We need to keep an eye on Powell, just to make sure that he's okay. We need to give a number to Miller. He can have 24. So here we go, Inter Miami versus DC United. Today we have Rob in goal, Powell and Sweat at the fullbacks, Vigal and Reyes, Trap, Ujawa and Guido at midfield, with Pizarro and Bojan in behind Carranza, who of course scored in his debut. I kind of recognise a few of their players, but I'm hoping we can continue our good form. I don't like any of these options. Okay, and we're up and running. Can we get a result against DC United? Up put another slow start. I'm not sure that anything's happened in the first 20 minutes of any game this season so far. In two of our games have had like two highlights in the whole game. That's the only thing I've noticed more of this year on FM. It's just some games just have nothing happening. We're trying to get creative and that has not worked because we've not done anything. Here we go, they've got a chance. Rubble saves. Sweat is miles at the pitch. Gets a ball in, Pizarro. Powell. Oh, Powell. Alf has Powell. Played in the first game. Scored. Got injured. Missed every game since. Back in the team today. What does he do? Scores. I think Pizarro set up his... Did he? Pizarro may have set up his goal in the first game as well. And not got an assist since then. Alright. Let's go and take control, boys. We've got a free kick. And... Guido. Well, Alejandro Guido turning into the signing of the season. Reyes knocks the ball across, and Guido's there, two yards out, to nod it home. He's averaging 7.8 before this game, and he's currently on a 7.6. So they've got Roger Espinosa, who kind of, he was in the draft things, and I dismissed him as being nowhere near good enough for our team. So that tells you a lot in terms of, where we stand against other teams. So I think we're going to take off Powell for the last few minutes. Bring on Delegaza. Just kind of seal things up. We're going to put this guy in defend as well. And then we need to make sure we're not doing this. Is it pronounced knackered? Guido's pretty knackered. Let's get him off. And then I'm going to give Miller a debut. So Miller is the young Liverpool striker. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. I mentioned we brought him in, but didn't explain who he was. Both chance picked up an injury. Great. We're just going to leave that. Need that not to be too bad. I mean, he's not been great, but we don't want to lose him. Is Miller? Nearly, nearly to go on his debut. But time should be up. Are we going to attack in us still? I doubt there's time. Joe now. Figal, Miller. No, it's all over. There we go. We won another. It's an Alvas Powell. Wow. Two games, two goals. He's now a joint top scorer in the entire club. And that means we're a point off the top with a game in hand. <laughs> what is going on? And overall, yeah, so only Portland and the Western have more points than us. So we're fifth in the entire league at the moment. That's amazing. Let's just have a look at this. 
Because Aguido is now the highest rated player in the entire league. Robles is joint most clean sheets with five. So we've only exceeded him three of our eight games. And Guido has been sensational. I don't really know how. Like, look at him. Like, nothing special. But we've done four games in a row there. So I kind of want to crack on a bit. Um, these are two good games to bring you. So NYCFC and Toronto FC. It's Toronto FC are top of the league and won it last year. So we should probably bring you that. Okay, so yeah, next time we will come back for New York and Toronto. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I hope you're enjoying into Miami generally. I'm really enjoying it actually. I don't really a lot of the time I didn't know what was going on with the transfers, but I think you don't you don't really have much opportunity to buy players, so you're not really focused that much on the transfers. You're kinda of looking at players who could do a job or players you can pick up who could help support the top players in your team. And then mainly it's focused on the tactics, so I quite enjoy it. And yeah, so if you're enjoying it, hit a like, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more soon. So until next time, goodbye for now.